guys in today's tutorial I'm going to be covering how to set up a tilt sensor with the Raspberry Pi uh, but before we get started here I just want to make a little distinction about the sensor in question so I was initially confused about the difference between a tilt sensor and a vibration sensor which I pr previously covered um, from my understanding they're functionally a little bit different so with a with a vibration sensor that detects any intermittent uh, you know, sort of vibration events. So if you touch it, it moves and the event's triggered. Whereas a tilt sensor deals more with angle. So as you can see here, they both have these tubes. Um, with the tilt sensor, the, the tube operates a little bit differently in the sense that, uh, you know, this would be state zero if the sensor were upright because the ball is touching the bottom portion. So when the angle changes and the ball rolls to the other side, that triggers like an event. So that would be like the new state, state one. And yeah, that's essentially the difference between the two sort of sensors. This deals more with angle and that deals with more like intermittent vibration. So with all that said and done, let's go ahead and get started. So the things that you need for this setup include obviously the sensor, um, tilt sensor. This one comes with the associated breakout board and you know adjustable pot. You're gonna need a Raspberry Pi of any flavor as well as three female to female jumper cables. So it's a pretty straightforward setup. We're gonna take the VCC, which is power here. I'm gonna plug in this red jumper cable ground. I'm gonna use this brown jumper cable. And for the signal or digital output, I'm gonna use this orange cable here. So that's pretty much it on the sensor side. So hooking up on the Raspberry Pi, uh, we can go ahead and take VCC, which is this red cable here, and uh, plug it into the five volt. Yeah, I think that should work out. And then um, ground, and you associate your ground. So third pin on the top row. Already know that's a ground available. And I'm just gonna pick GPIO 21, so the rightmost top pin, just to make it easy. And uh, there you go, that's pretty much the physical setup required. So with all that said done, let's go ahead and head over to the computer. Okay, so I've created this script here and if you take a quick look at it, you'll notice if you've been watching the channel that the logic is very similar to some of the other videos I created, uh, particularly the sound sensor and vibration sensor. But nonetheless, I'll walk you guys through it. So lines one through two, uh, you know, we're just setting the environment uh, Python, and then we're importing the necessary libraries here, in this case, GPIO. We're setting the pin. In this case, we've named the variable channel to 21. Um, we're just setting up the, the inputs here. Yeah, and then if we jump down to 16 through 20, this is sort of the main loop area. Uh, so this loop is constantly running this infinite loop. And essentially what happens is if there's an event detected, in this case, when the sensor goes roughly 90 degrees, it'll call this function and just print this tilt detected message. And then on exit, it just cleans up the the pins that were previously set up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Very basic stuff here. Let's go ahead and run this on the Pi. So I've already SSH'd into my Pi and uploaded the script. So let's do ls and run that file. So python tilt.py. So now that it's running, I'm gonna go over real quick and trigger the sensor. And there you go guys, you can see it uh, triggered the sensor here and printed this message several times. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it for this tutorial today. Um, just wanted to go back over the use cases for this sensor. It's effectively a switch, so it, it acts almost identically to the vibration sensor. The only difference I would say is that it takes almost 90 degrees 
of movement to trip the sensor therefore you could use it as a sort of angle switch if if you will and yeah I hope you enjoyed the the video for today you know stay tuned for upcoming videos uh, it's always appreciated if you like and subscribe leave a comment down below if you have any questions and yeah peace